went in the started being delivered in late 49 and the body never changed all the way through 53 and there were subtle changes through the production of the TD but they only an enthusiast would have recognized those changes. This is a 1953 Inskip TD. Inskip was the main distributor for Morris at that time. And in 1953, British Motor Corporation started, st stopped importing a four-passenger Y-type. <clears throat> so this was Inskip's idea to come out with a four-passenger car. Cut the chassis moved it uh, about a foot and a half. There were about a dozen of these produced. And this happens to be the first one they made. These sold for $3,200. In other words, $1,200 uh, over the existing TD price. But there was a lot of work done to this car for $1,200. The doors had to be extended with a steel insert here for strength. The whole top bow had to be made special. This car was uh, the 114th MG built, so it's very early in the history of MG TDs. It was purchased in 1950 by Johnny Von Neumann. Uh, he then uh, proceeded to make it into a race car. Uh, Emil Diet built the aluminum body for it, and uh, Competition Motors prepared the, uh, the engine and, uh, and the chassis. Uh, he raced it. The very first race out with it was at uh, the uh, Pebble Beach races in 1950, and it took first place. Uh, that went on to uh, Palm Springs, where it took first place again. And then it won at the Carroll Speedway in 51. It won at the Sandberg Hill Climb in 1951, and went on to win seven of the next 14 races it was in. This car had a particular interest to me because I grew up on the Monterey Peninsula and I watched the first Pebble Beach road race and I saw this car win then. And so having it back, you know, on the Monterey Peninsula and owning it and enjoying it was really a, a very personal triumph for me. Well, in the early days, uh, it, the MG was inexpensive and uh, it had a tremendous amount of potential. You had a only had 56 horsepower in the original car, and with uh, with really pretty crude tools, but a lot of time, and a lot of patience, um, you could build that horsepower up to uh, 100 horsepower out of uh, out of that tiny little um, 12, 1250 or 1500 cc engine, and and it was the kind of thing that somebody could could actually do. And, um, and so you could be very, very successful. And they didn't weigh a lot. This car, for instance, uh, they did a tremendous amount of weight reduction in it. Deep position on the track. 